Welcome back to another Linux Distro Overview. Today we will be taking a look at Neuralinux 20.04. Neuralinux is an older Linux distro built for developing AI. From their website it seems like it has not been updated since 2021 so we will have to update and upgrade this system once installed. It is an Ubuntu based distro so installation should be quick and easy. So let's get it installed, updated and see how it pans out. On our first boot up we are greeted by the known welcome screen. Let's go through it. Then look at some applications to see how outdated the system is. It is at least a couple years old by it being 20.04. We are also getting a lot of failure notifications, so this system definitely needs some serious updates. Let's look at a few more apps to see their versions to compare them after the update. I think we are up to version 110 on Firefox. So let's go ahead and update this ancient system now. Once the update is completed, we will reboot and look at some apps again. We are also going to install the XFCE desktop. I've seen a few comments about how much GNOME is not liked and constantly being asked questions like does it come with KDE or any other desktop environments. Linux is Linux. You can use any desktop environment on any distro. You are not limited to the default. 
you can add the desktop your heart desires. Adding too many desktop environments can cause problems. But two or three won't hurt. I'm also going to take advantage of the moment and install additional icons, themes, and wallpapers to make XFCE look nice. I'll add the syntax to the video description so you can see how to use regular expressions for downloading multiples using the asterisk with the apt installer. It's an awesome way to multitask. While it's all downloading and installing, let's look at more applications.
XFCE, and additional goodies installed. Let's reboot and log into our new XFCE installation. And we are now on the XFCE desktop. Let's adjust the look and feel on our system by making the panels the way I like them. If you prefer the top panel, by all means keep it. I don't so it's always the first thing I change. We will then play with the themes and wallpapers and so on. Well, that's pretty much it for this overview of Neuralinux 20.04. Please like, share, and subscribe for more Linux content. See you on the next one. Peace.